Hi guys, this is Flash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. In the last part, we stole the precious thing. At least we think it's precious. It looks precious enough. So, let's report back to Wes and tell him how much we got the thing. And this grass is no longer purple. It's actually a weird shade of... That yellow green, and it's not as cool as the purple, I'll tell you that much. That was faster than I expected. Yeah, I mean, it only took the entire night, but whatever. Let's have a look-see. Yeah, look at that. Look how sparkly it is. It's all shiny. Yeah. <laughs> exactly how you uh, exactly how you describe it. This luster, this texture, this delicate, profound, and shiny quality. This is the legendary noble spittoon passed down from generation to generation in Osohe. Awesome. Yay. You found it. My judgment goes correct after all. Duster, you're exceptionally garbage. Stupider than I thought. Fraudulent. You moron, you moron, you moron. Well, damn. You call yourself a thief, you can't even tell what it is you need to steal? I mean, I thought it was all shiny and stuff. Though, who would want a spittoon, honestly? Did you bring back any other big jackpot items? Are you not you're fooling around just to entertain me? You moron. Well, damn. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, we got that pendant from a uh, girl. Uh, but could it be? Oh, thank god. Maybe we, we didn't screw up as much as we thought we would have. <laughs> All thanks to that person. Drop an appendant. Where did he even drop from? Like the ceiling? What was that? How did that happen? Uh, I think its owner might be the Princess of Osohe Castle. Damn! We have royal- we're dealing with royalty? I didn't- your first job was an utter failure. But this is no time to be calling you a moron. Awesome. Alright. So we're going to Osohe Castle. That's nice. Wes joined her party too. Even better. So he's going to be traveling with us. Um, what I wasn't aware of was anything, apparently. I don't even know what I wanted to finish that sentence with. Uh, no commotion looks like it's happening right now, so that's nice. Let's just go back with this town. I like the theme that's going on. And it's, uh, what's that odd sound? Yeah, I was about to say, as soon as I said I like the theme. Oh yeah, look at that. There's actually large vehicles passing through that drawbridge we lowered. Yay, go us. Oh wait, actually this is good for us though, because those enemies are worth much more experience than the goddamn ghosts. So now we can grind again some more, and that's lovely. <laughs> so you gotta look at the bright side of things, right? There's the silver lining. Anywho's. So that just happened. Do we have to take the underground entrance again though? Looks like they just went in through these tanks, man. You can see the tank treads and everything. Where did they come from though? And where did they go? Who knows? Uh, actually, we know. We, we do know where they went, but where did they come from is the bigger question. Oh god, they just ran over Nippolite. Jeez, man. Alright, if you're going inside, do be careful. Alright, definitely will be. What's up, tank? Just They just parked their tank right here? Left it running, even? Come on, guys, that's not safe. And it looks like, uh... Looks like I do not... <laughs> what, I, what it looks like is I do not have enough beef jerky to, uh, take what is about to just happen right now. And that is the animated Clayman. Or just Clayman. <laughs> Who cares about whether or not they're animated, right? Uh, so let's let's drop some debuffs on this fool. Doesn't work apparently. At least Wes will do work for us. And we can just do that. And we can. The moment I start talking, it just it doesn't everything goes to shit, man. <laughs> it's the truth. Uh, I'm not throwing excuses, I swear. That time it was because something fell on me, actually. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm jawing like crazy right now. But something did fall on me, so that did trip me. Oh my goodness, Duster. Duster's dad. Did much more damage than Duster ever could, actually. Oh no, we can redeem ourselves. We almost did as much as our father. Okay, just kidding. Oh my goodness. If you, um... If you can combo after a smash attack, I think every attack afterwards does get stronger. So that's a nice thing to do. Awesome! That helps us a lot, I'm assuming. Or maybe it did nothing. Maybe that statement I just uh, threw out was absolutely fraudulent, but who knows? Yeah, I don't think reanimating the clay is going to do any work now. We totally just roughed it up. <laughs> it's Play-Doh, man. And <laughs> they kick it before leaving. Poor guy. Uh, so that just happened. What was in this side of the play? Yeah, that's how we got in, I think, right? What was in this side, actually? 
Yeah, that is in fact how we got in. I'm, I'm, I'm just being crazy right now. So let's actually, you know, do our thing in this same thing. We can go in the hot springs and have a merry good time with all our clothing on, as always, because that's how the, it's the best way to relax in the hot springs and totally able to be run totally fine with the absolute wet clothing and safe. So now, instead of level 17, we are still level 17, but now we have Wes as our traveling buddy companion, so that's nice. And in the, the there are no longer ghosts. I guess the Pigmas army just exercised this entire place. Um, but I really do love this theme, though. It's called Piggy Guys, I'm pretty sure. It's awesome. So they are a new enemy. Oh my god, you're just gonna drop a Thunder Bomb then? I hope you didn't use our Thunder Bomb. Oh, we should have grabbed a Thunder Bomb from the back. He does restock that. Can we even go in here anymore? Oh no, ghost! Oh, you know what? It's probably because it's daytime. I didn't think of that actually. Uh, <laughs> that makes an absurd amount of sense when I think about it. Although the, the ghost sign is still there. I still can't combo to it. I love the theme. Still can't combo to it. Come on, I can at least get a 16 or six. <laughs> Same difference, really. And in the present, there is a bag of pork chips. Okay, the bag of pork chips. Oh no, not sleep mode. Those only exist in GBA games. 50 H. Oh, still not as good as beef jerky. Apparently, I thought, I thought it would be better than beef jerky. But I think these uh, these pork, pork mask people, pig mask people, are more likely to drop them. Oh my goodness, they just totally smashed these statues. These guys are ruthless. And Wes is just dropping thunder bombs on these fools left and right. It's rather ridiculous, actually. I wonder actually, oh my goodness, ghosts, what the hell, <laughs> what are y'all doing here? Um, so we all fit and fled to this room, well damn, okay, gift boxes with blue, okay, yeah, you told this already, um, okay, well, you have fun packed in the kitchen, ghost, oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that though, lots of lots of ghosts. No, I hate doing that. I hate when that happens. <laughs> when you go into a room and then that same direction takes you out of the room. That's just no cool. Okay, I'm assuming that Ghost Knight is still dead. So we'll leave him dead. I mean, he's probably back. He, he responds the moment you leave the room. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out what happens when... um When... When you open that chest now that the ghosts are gone. But the ghosts aren't gone, again, apparently. My, my theory about it being nighttime was totally fraudulent, so whatever. I'm surprised he just didn't die right then and there. I expected him to, so I almost stopped comboing. How unfortunate. Wes is doing a good amount of damage, though. So that's, he's really nice. He's a nice person to have around. He's, uh, he's a much better party member than uh, our past party members. And he's just dropping thunder on these fools, man. <laughs> I swear, it's, it's brilliant. Um... You know, we, we might actually be going the incredibly wrong way when I think about it. Because there were, um... I guess not. Over here, though, yes. Because there were, um, symbols like this at the bottom of the castle, too. Just like this part of the castle. Alright, you probably have to do the dance that's shown on the wall. Very recently, too. Um, only the princess has the ability to open the secret door. Alrighty, then. But we do, too, right? Duster. This is embarrassing. Turn the other way. Alrighty then. Is he gonna do something? I love the music. <laughs> I just fucking love this dance. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Um. Uh huh. This is the spray work. He, he's watching now. He's just like, I gotta see this shit, man. <laughs> it just looks so amazing. I love it. Especially that it's Wes. Uh-huh, okay, so he does turn around. Alright, so doing that dance opens up the way. Brilliant. I taught you this dance when you were still very young. Can we do it, though, is the question. Because, uh, you know, for that leg of ours that no one seems to like mentioning. Alright, so we need to be careful, you moron. Alrighty, then. So now we got access, new access to place that apparently the pig mask people can't access to. And we got a trash can over here, <laughs> where Duster belongs, evidently. Is there anything in it? Um, what's it used for? Who knows? And in there, it looks like there's a, a needle-like object, apparently. Alright, that's very interesting. Um, 
Normally, his gentle suggestion suddenly turned stern, and he, he said, forget about it. Alrighty then. I think. I can't remember. Alrighty then. <laughs> I strive to forget, I think, is what I remember. That was the certain important item they spoke of, was it? Oh god damn, that was... That was, uh, magic. Oh cool, you have a knife? When do you have a knife? You don't fight with knives. Is that you, old geezer? Alright, it's person. Tom girl, apparently. Do people even still use that term? I have never heard it once. Like, did Tumblr just kill that term? Or did it just slowly start, like, being used? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> uh... Mostly because that's the, that, that's totally not the even... <laughs> I used the entirely wrong, wrong term for one thing. But let's forget about it. Uh, this, this person's cool. I like this person. No, wait, Duster, you moron. Get your act together. <laughs> you don't remember her name, do you? Um, I got my leg caught in the stupid-ass trap. Oh my god, what, what is this game rated? Must be E. <laughs> well, who cares? It's Japan, and this was a fan translation, so whatever. So I was just thinking about cutting my foot off. Um, right, right. Let's not do that. Uh, for me and my thief arts, a trap like this is absolutely no problem. Alright. Yay! That was good. So now she's fine again. Which is even better. Um... Oh yeah, it's that thing we stole from her. <laughs> Whoopsie. So you stole it, yeah? We didn't mean to. Just our thief ways. So obviously she seems rough around the edges, if that's the proper term. I don't even know anymore, guys. <laughs> I'm so confused in this world. Uh-huh. Sizing us up, I suppose. His breath kind of stinks. We've had so many rotten mints, that is... I'm calling bullshit right now. <laughs> My name's... A strong, rise, and rather masculine girl, Kumatora. So that's like, Kumatora is a cool person. What makes her especially cool is she knows PSI, as we saw as she tried to lightning bolt our asses <laughs> earlier in that cutscene. And she is headed for it. You know, those pronouns. And those motorcycles. And spit. The new cure-all, I suppose. Um, yeah. Jeez. Mo. Uh, alright, Kumatora joined our party. So yay, now we have two party members, and things are gonna get much more simple now. We won't get wrecked by, like, everything and any anything of Mr. Passion, basically. Um, the word of the wind. Mysterious girl. Yeah, she can use PSI. Alright, well, thanks for telling us that. We wouldn't have figured that out ourselves, I suppose. Really? It looks like there's a problem there. That, that brick is oddly shaped. But anywho, we have fire now. And, you know, for the express purpose of, well, she can use fire. Now we have access to elements. We have PK Fire and PK Freeze. These actually do do different things, um, besides just having an elemental difference <laughs> that we're not going to be able to show off because Wes is too good for this world. Let's see if we can actually do it this time. Besides having an elemental difference, uh, PK Fire hits an entire row of enemies, whereas PK Freeze will hit one enemy, occasionally freezing them, apparently. And we took a whole six, six damage from that, but now he's dead. Yay! So, one thing we do have to keep up, up um, managing now from now on is uh, our PSI, or our PSI points rather, our PP, um, because we never had to really deal with that in uh, in and up until now. You know, Flint and Duster never really used really used any of that any of that black magic. So uh. You know, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. What is she wearing? Yeah, it does, yeah, I like that maximum. Um, so we have to be managing our PP, just like in the Earthbound. What I do think, and I, and I, I strongly admit this, um, I think Mother 3 is much, much more forgiving about managing your, uh, your PP than, uh, in Earthbound. In Earthbound, it was just running out left and right, and you had to go all the way back to the hotels to get it back. Like, yeah, there's the occasional butterfly, but what this game has is hot springs absolutely everywhere. So that makes things really, really nice. How much damage does she do just naturally, actually? She also has a different instrument, I suppose. <laughs> and does absolutely no damage because, uh, you know, she's, she's more of a magic user, as you might have guessed. And he's gonna try PK Fire, which will hit both enemies, as I was stating before. But yeah, as I was stating, <laughs> as I said earlier, um, there's hot springs everywhere, so you can always gain your uh, PP back. And enemies 
drop PP healing items a ton. Like, you don't see this as much in, um... Like, in the first mother, in the, I mean, in Earthbound, rather. In Earthbound, people rarely dropped any PP healing items, but this, it... They've made sure they actually fixed that in Earthbound and Mother Mother 3, oh my goodness. They fixed it in Mother 3 and it's much less of a problem now, so it's very, very nice in this world. And yeah, it's just great. It's all good in the neighborhood. And uh that, that's kinda creepy. And also hey cape. I like that sprite working on that though. Uh let's just kill this guy with you know elements, so start con just considering elements. This game is actually basic, there's only like three of them. That's not true. Some random things count as elements that will do, like, damage, but as far as, like, that goes, like, if it's a fire enemy, use a nice attack. It's kind of basic logic there. PK Magnet, that's probably the worst thing you could ever do to him, because, um, because, you know, we, we don't want losing our PP. That was a really big problem in Earthbound, because mushrooms were just like, oh, that's right, this is a... Is it? Is it? Is it one of those songs that you actually have a variable timing? I didn't know that, and I should have been paying attention, I suppose. And Peculiar Cheese. I don't think Kumatora likes cheese as much as Duster does. So if given the option, make sure uh, Duster uses that uh, cheese rather than Kumatora. Just... Oh, well, uh, back attack. That's not good. This Barrel Man is going to kick our ass now with a whole f uh, 14 damage. It's actually pretty significant. <laughs> Whatever, he got one shot at the... I don't think Kumatora, at least at this moment in time, knows any uh, healing spells. No, she doesn't, right? She doesn't. I'm pretty sure she will learn some basic healing spells. She isn't the healer, she's more of the offensive mage like Paula was. At least I think Paula was the offensive mage. I slowly, <laughs> I'm beginning to realize I paid absolutely no attention to playing Earthbound when I played that. I did a blind let's play of that if I want to. I'm going to plug myself right now. That's something I did, guys. <laughs> Go check it out. Even though I got really, really salty at that game because I, I, I played Mother 3 first and I, I will admit I, I liked Mother 3 a lot more than Earthbound. And I still do. But they're both good games in their own right, I suppose. So in this segment, we got brooms. You don't want to touch these goddamn brooms because these brooms will sweep you all the way back to the trash. God damn it, Wes. I wasn't touching it. I wasn't touching that broom at all. But Wes was. <laughs> you bastard. Alrighty then. That's a good uh, excuse to end off the part, I suppose. So in the next part, we will be scaling up the rest of the castle with Kumatora and Wes in tow. But until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.